Yes, SC family, I hope you guys are well, mate. I hope you guys are well. Guys, this is a quick video, a little SEO video, just to kind of maybe help you out. Hope you get visible out there on that Etsy platform. Because look, it's so important to get seen. If you're not seen, you're not selling. It's simple. If you're not seen, you're not selling. I keep saying it all the time and I'll say it again and again and again. There's so many nuance. I call it nuance. The small detail, the little bits that, you know, imagine, look, let's just imagine a, an, a car, right? A car, an engine. If something out of that engine is out of place, the engine's not going to work, right? Or it's not going to work properly, right? Or it's going to break down. It just takes a small part, a gear. It could be part of a piston. Whatever it is part of the engine that is not working for it to break down. And it's, that's the analogy I want to use with listings. It could be a small detail thing, right? The smallest thing um, that doesn't work. And then it won't sell. Because look, you're not guaranteed to sell. But what you can do is you can give yourself a fantastic chance by doing all the right things. And it's the detail, the small bits that make the difference between a sell and a non-sell. And look, we see it all the time, guys. We see it all the time where you've got some fantastic stores listings and stores that are selling fabuloso, like in terms of amazingly well listings. And in that same store, you'll see it could be 100, 200 that are not selling because they missed out on that detail. But they seem to get it right on a few but maybe not on all. And it's that detail that is absolutely paramount, guys. But listen, as usual, if you love digital products, you love creating, searching, listing, all that great, great, great stuff, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell to get more of these kind of videos in your feed, mate. Now, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a lot of these kind of detail things, little information that you really need to get a grip with, right? And one thing I wanted to talk about today, which the Etsy algorithm really appreciates, is for you to create a listing that is relevant, okay? That is relevant. So <clears throat> let's have a look. Look, I just typed in wall art, right? And amazingly, this is, this is the key to this. Look, even Etsy tells you. Now look in this top corner, it's sorting it out by relevancy. How relevant, and, and this is the main type of sorting. I mean, look, when you click on sort it, you can sort it obviously with the lowest and the highest price, but this is the top kind of, uh, if you like, tip that's showing you, telling you how Etsy sorts out these listings or, or likes to, you know, you know um, match them in a sense. Now, although you can go and click other things, its priority is relevancy, right? It's relevant. What is your listing relevant? So if I'm typing in wall art, now obviously that is too big, and, you know, that's just too big. I might go um, a specific type of wall art, right? I might say boho. Um, I might say birth month. I might say could be anything like literally uh cowgirl um i might say uh let's say or pet portraits or whatever it is let me just say cow or or let's say um landscape right countryside spring summer let's go summer summer right summer wall art okay summer wall art and obviously what it's going to do is it's going to sort it automatically by the most relevant listings out there and this is what i'm trying to say to you guys it wants to match out what it believes the customer is looking for. So how do you actually get into that sort of relevant thing? Because let's say you want to be ranked for, you want to be like um, uh, matched for, let's say, matched with the customer with the summer wall art keyword, okay? Now, obviously, you can niche down even further, but let's say that's what you want to sort of go into and that's what you want the algorithm to kind of push you towards. Then how are these let's say bestsellers or Etsy picks or, f or ones that are on the first page actually getting there. Well, the way, one way of actually checking this that you can do, um, which I like to do is I like to look at recent listings that have managed to get up there um, and, and building up that quality score quite quickly. And a good indicator, if they're managed to sell quickly within two or three months, let's say, and they're on the first page, is that they have probably match themselves and become more relevant than others okay so one way to do this go to etsy guys check it out link in my description i use i use ever be sorry to kind of help me kind of just find those relevant ones let's say yeah um like i said research seo tool is useful in this respect um i'll try it out now what i like then to do is uh i like to go to the entire database right now obviously i want to try and look at the best selling ones but within a recent times because Hopefully that's going to give me a good indication about 
how relevant these are because what it is is what's really cool about etsy is that you're able to see at least i mean what's really cool about etsy is that you have all the information in front of you that's the amazing bit so look i mean look i'm looking at some of these these are some of the highest selling best selling listings under the summer wall art niche okay and then what i like to do is i like to look at listing age and i do like to look at ones that are kind of i guess more recent and then obviously see like this one obviously look there's 600 vintage these it's a big bundle so i'm not going to go into that obviously don't go into just anything that is recent <laughs> don't just go into anything that's recent go into what's relevant recent if that makes sense right so obviously i want a summer uh, a summer print um wall art i'm gonna look at a summer wall art right sift through these because some of these won't be relevant even though they're selling well so you know part of doing this is you start picking up also other tips and ideas and as i go down you can see that some of the recent most recent listings tend to be within the sort of summer um wall art Re um they tend to be bundles right so you've got this one six set of 600 um coastal wall art that's a bundle yeah this is sitting up in the summer wall art niche right so then what it does is you kind of you go off on a tangent slightly so then you start thinking okay within the summer wall art maybe coastal designs that are, are quite appealing so you know as you do your research you'll find things is this is the beautiful thing about this you start finding other gems right and you start sub niching further now look at this one this is a two month old listing it's a vintage oil painting style uh if you like wall art right now this one's a two month old listing okay and it's already making 810 dollars so that's quite interesting it's got a good visibility score um so i i would tend to just kind of just look at this because this has kind of you know this is quite recent and it's kind of got up in that sort of in that region i would tend to uh, look at a few things i'll probably look at the store age go further um and then look at some of the words that they've used and then i'd probably want to see where they actually are on on the search term with regards to how they view the relevancy so by looking at this now i see what it looks like i may just go back a minute and just see where are they on that sort of relevancy um term okay so once i'm in, in looking at the analysis through everby then i'll start wanting to find some of these most you know recent listings right and try and get some kind of pattern seeing what's what's happening and you know what i can see there's a recent listing i can see that bundles sell well in the wall art look there's a bundle of 600 uh different wall arts that's pretty good but i do know that bundles are always going to do pretty well anyway in general um coming down uh, again i want to find some recent sort of recent-esque ones here's another one funny enough another one uh, uh coming down there's a six month old one i want to look at that one coming down further uh uh coming down further i can see vintage sea life but that's a bit old i want to remember i'm looking at the relevant the recent ish ones right here's a set of 300 coastal so the beach one i'm starting to pick up some kind of uh some some uh something that's repeating itself where the beach ones look here's another one vintage beach right people seem to like the coastal the beach style summer so they associate summer wall art with beach so the etsy algorithm seems to us is another one look but beach although it's quite old that one but the beach ones seem to be here's another one vintage beach right so in looking at summer wall art there's a strong link between summer and the coast and beaches so you know that that's where the algorithm kind of feels like that is probably more relevant those are the more relevant sort of listings look there's so many of them coastal wall art and yet i haven't typed in coastal in my search term i've just typed in summer wall art but yet what etsy has deemed as maybe quite um quite good or, or relevant are the more the beach because they associate the summer with beach or, or the coast okay so I, I get that right look first one, there's one there yeah, although it's an ad meet me at the beach you got beach related one um coming down look here's a vintage beach one there design style right you can see it there uh let me come down look etsy's pick ad by etsy seller these are coastal ones um but these are obviously the ads but let me just go down um again here's colorful this isn't this is colorful beach this is just organically um coastal one here's another coastal one 
right? All I, what I'm now, what when you when you see what's happening, when you understand, look, here's more coastal ones. Look, more sort of coastal sea ones. Look, more coastal sea ones. Look, here's a whole um, frame TV summer beach bundle, right? Uh, so that's so interesting, right? It's so interesting when you start. And this is part of the investigation, guys. This is what you need to do. Is you're you're going down, you're investigating. But my key thing is this: what is relevant? What does Etsy deem? What does Etsy deem as relevant in that for that particular search term? So in this case, you can see that the beach, um, the beach style wall arts are deemed as quite relevant for the term summer wall art. Okay. That's the analysis that comes out of this one. And that's, that's, that's part of the process of what we do. Um, look at this one. This is a bestseller bomb. Again, like this is a seesaw style one. But it's a frame TV. But, you know, um, look at that. Even these ones. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this is, this is what we do. This is, part, this is why research is absolutely paramount and, and the key to this. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you can go into it and then you can look at the designs. And then really what you need to do then is you start looking and analyzing the title, those keywords, right? What they have in there. So I don't know, let me just look at that. this one, this bestseller, vintage stroke beach style one, right? So obviously the search term that I typed in was summer wall art, right? Summer wall art was the actual term that I typed in. And if I go to this particular listing, you can see, you know, um, although wall art is not there, but you can see summer is part of the keyword that is there. Um, and uh, if I just go into analyzing the tags a little bit, how much is this making? Let me just see how much this is making. Uh, let me so let me just have a look at this for a minute. And so knowing that uh, you know the coastal ones seem quite good, or let's say the beach ones. Um, so then I, I might go and click on this one, which is a sort of beach coastal related. That's making about four hundred sixty four dollars. It's a five month old listing, so not that old, right? Not that old. Um, and and this is probably a good indicator. Right, you got the summer wall art here. There's a there's a keyword there, summer wall art, um, and they deem it as as a quite a sort of a related thing. All right, there's a few things with this that I believe is making it sort of also stand out and sell. You got add your personalization, which is an option. Um, it's a set, so obviously people um, find value with having sets. I mean, this is a big set of three hundred, all beach related. You know, but again, deemed as under the summer sort of banner, you know, um, where where it does feel like it's relevant. This video was just really looking at the relevancy aspect. But guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget, if you did like the video, please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell uh, to get more of these videos in the feed. Take care.